I stopped eating meat and fish about six months ago, having thought about it for a long time. I decided that it was only laziness that was stopping me from becoming vegetarian. I've never liked the idea of animals being made to suffer, so I thought I should stick by my principles and stop eating meat. Basically, I believe that farming methods in this country are all wrong. There's too much factory farming, where animals are kept in terrible conditions. I know there's organic meat and good farmers too, but there aren't enough of them. 2. I finally gone on a diet. I've been dieting for a month now and it's going really well. I've been eating really healthily and cooking a lot more, using fresh meat, fish and vegetables. I used to eat a lot of takeaway food and unhealthy snacks like crisps and biscuits, but I don't anymore. I've lost nearly six kilos and my trousers are feeling really loose around my waist now. Time for a new pair. I'm so glad I finally made the effort to do this. I was getting really unhealthy and feeling tired all the time. I feel so much better now and have so much more energy. 3. I go about four times a week. I've been doing it for a month now and actually it's better than I thought it would be. What's good is that I go with my friend Mick. He's good company and we help and encourage each other, which really keeps me motivated because, let's face it, gyms are pretty boring places, aren't they? Anyway, I'm already noticing a difference. My clothes fit better and I have lots more energy. I'm glad it's working because I didn't want to have to go on a diet. I enjoy my food too much. 4. It took me a while to get round to it, but I finally handed in my notice four months ago. I felt really good about it, so I knew straight away that I'd made the right decision. Although the job was really well paid, it was just so stressful that I'm sure it was bad for my health, especially because I worked such long hours and I didn't have time to cook or eat properly. I was living off takeaways, which is terrible, I know. Now that I've got more time, I'm going to join a gym and eat more healthily. Anyway, I've had a nice long break and I've just started helping out at the local library. The pay isn't great, but I'm really enjoying it. 5. I was absolutely fed up with living in the city, so I decided to move to the country and work from home. I'm renting a small cottage on a farm that belongs to some friends of mine and my company allows me to work from home and do the same job online as I was doing in London, which is just great. I love my job, but living in London was so stressful as I had to commute and the journey was an hour and a half each way. Anyway, there's not much I miss about city life, except perhaps my favourite Chinese takeaway.